All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Wednesday. That means we are playing Dark Lord. I saw Lithium's video, so I kind of wanted to tweak the deck to fit accordingly to that. And uh, hopefully this will go well. So, of course, you know, you got that speed right here top. This opening hand's kind of it, eh, but hopefully, you know, bust down a Dante Mill and a couple of cards. Uh, yeah, everything will hopefully go well. We're actually running 50 cards because I am running the Pot of Cupidity. Uh, I want to try it out. You know, I... I I think I've tried it a couple of times and I, I knocked it and you know, there's a debate in the community whether it's great or not. So I was like, uh, I mean, can I really, can I, wow, you just automatically set it at three. You're like, uh, obviously you want to mill three. Like, who doesn't want to mill three? Uh, yeah, yeah. So now I can go ahead and actually play my revival card because I just happened to actually mill some good shit. So, yeah, you're only 28 booty, you're 29 booty, so. Uh, and now I can actually pay the 1,000 to actually get the search. So overall, not terrible. I'm terrible. Yeah, I'll go ahead and return and get my search. Uh, those are actually some really great medals. Like, I have no complaints from that. Uh, I'm going to grab my trap card, because the trap card is fucking power. Like, that's one of the main things that actually makes the, uh, I guess I could have grabbed the monster and then played Allure. I'm still not sure how I feel about Allure. I, I still think Allure is a powerful yet balanced card. Like, that's, that's how I feel. Like, it's a draw card, but it's like, yeah, but I, do I really want to banish that dark monster? Yeah, yeah. So I'm trying uh, the lithium version out with the with the Teratops of Speedroids, the Dante and all that, and um, also doing the uh, Vanity's Fiend. I'm not sure about Vanity's Fiend. It's just like it's like why why would you play Vanity's Fiend when you could play Christia? Like they're pretty much the same thing. Christia's a little bit stronger, but she's also level eight, so you can then play trade trade in. You're already running you know three Superbia. Like Superbia is one of the main OGs in the deck, so. I don't know. I don't know. It's just like fuck it. Let's see him dead. Let's try it. And it, that's a really bad attitude to have. Like, hey, hey, let's ban Ragon on Lithium. But I, I like the creativity that Lithium brings. That it's just like, you know what? That's a cool take on it. Let me go ahead and try it and see what I like. And my opponent just left. All right. All right. Back got another duel. So I don't know what happened there. Like my my, my players were strong, but they weren't you know like game breakingly strong. Am I going first? Yeah, I'm going first. Ew. Do that Takatom board. Rip. Uh, I'm thinking about just using you with you. Like, I, I don't know, no, because I could pitch my trap card. Pitch my trap card's actually pretty good. Maybe hold on to you for later. Uh, not the greatest, but not the worst either. I can just go ahead and just play Oasis, you know, like that. So, I don't know. I don't know. I I, I, th I think Christia is a better... To, personally, I think Christia is a better choice. I'm going to go ahead and activate Oasis, like, immediately. So, I can go ahead and summon her back. That way, I can actually get used to my trap card in the graveyard to go ahead and spot pop. Like, like... This strat, I think this card is really great. The, the change of heart one, yeah, I'm not running it. I don't like it. I don't think it's great. great. And, which kind of contradicts the fact that I'm running, like, Dante. You think you'd be running, like, all-out traps. Like, I think, I hope they get, like, one more trap that's actually really good. Because the change of heart's kind of, yeah. This one's, like, mwah, fantastic. I love spot popping. You know? I am a great, I'm a big fan of spot popping. But, uh, when, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, can I, can I respond on summon? Can I respond on summon? Yeah, on summon? On summon? Because before you even fucking... Go off with this motherfucker before you even do an Aptibis. Return and pop him. Fuck that. Never get an Aptibis. Like, and the sad thing is that the sending of the Lantern Monster, that's a cost. So he can go activate my effect, send for cost. I could strike him, but he would still, you know, resolve his effect. So, you know, it would still just be straight up rip. Like, yeah, and you pitch for cost, so. Dragoons, like, I can't believe there's actually some people that were like, oh yeah, you know, like, Diva up to three, and Dragoons up to three. Like, are you on crack? Like, no, the deck is really strong. Like, this deck doesn't need anything. And it, the sad thing is, is that this card went up to two, like, all, like, out of nowhere, this card just went up to two. Like, back when this deck was in its prime, like, Dragoons of one was, like, a definite. And it kind of stayed there, and the sad thing is, Mermels never were bad. Like, Mermels are never bad. They always do well. They always succeed, you know? So, for this deck to get more shit, it's just like, wow. You know, it's just like, wow. Yeah, so you can get Dragoons, the uh, Neptibus, Neptibus, Diva, the shirt, like, no, 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 no. This, this deck doesn't need any more shit, of course, fucking. Here we go with Norden. You got you gotta have your fucking Norden. Like, your fucking Norden. You're such an enabler. You're such an enabler. Like, I'm sorry. Norden, you should be banned. And I, I, I apologize. It seems like I complain about everything in every episode, but I'm a really conservative duelist. And when shit's broken? Like, I just, I just think that, it's like, oh yeah, this game, it has to be, it should be balanced. It's like, how does this game fucking balance when everything is so fucking broken? Hey, you know you insta feature oh, and of course you didn't conduct your normal summon. Oh my god. Of course you didn't conduct your normal summon. Because you went one for one in some of the Neptibus, and then you grab Neptibus, and you send the Dragoons again, and of course Dragoons not once per turn, like, mmm, 
Mmm, tell me that's not broken. <laughs> uh, said, I, and of course, I had to strike the Norden. I couldn't allow the Norden to go. So, yeah, I, th I think I'm probably dead. Like, I'm probably dead. You can just go ahead and pitch those two and summon. Pop this. Like, I'm dead. I'm dead. I stopped your plays, but you just happen to have more plays. Because that's fair. You know, that's fair. Because <laughs> Norton's the enabler. How to stop him? And then you one for one and summon Neptibus. And then, of course, Neptibus, he's not a fucking once per turn. So rip on that, too. And you can just go ahead and summon Neptibus. Then for cost, Dragoon's not once per turn. Get the multiple search off of that. Like, I'm sorry. I'm a conservative duelist. And when shit's broken, shit's broken. Shit's broken. Neptibus is fucking stupid. Fucking Dragoon's is fucking stupid. Like, yeah, I'll go ahead and pitch Tets so I can protect the construction, at least this way. Hopefully, he won't be get, able to kill me. He can get over me, but he can't kill me. Yep, and go ahead and send Neptibus. He can attack twice, and Neptibus will go ahead and go off and get the summon of the Dragoons, and it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so this deck should totally get more shit. Totally get more shit. Yeah, three Dragoons and three fucking Diva. All right, all right, no. But you think Dragoon should probably be at the limit because it's so stupid that you can send your Dragoons and then search your Dragoons. Like, what kind of sense does that fucking make? Oh, never mind, I'm still dead. Like, never mind, I'm still dead. I stopped, I stopped his plays, but he just had more plays, so. Like, this deck, this deck can win worlds. This deck can win worlds, too. All right, we'll get our duel bear. All right, another duel. I said, speaking of ban list, so apparently we got news that the next two ICSs uh, I forgot where they're at. One's like in Europe, like Rimi or something like that, and I forgot the other one. But apparently, uh, we're not getting our list until after that. That's fine. I guess that's okay. So I just don't understand the point of running Van Beast Fiend over Christia. I I get you could do the Terra Top plays. It's it's more closer to an OCG thing. I can just go ahead and special summon Terra Top, and then Terra Top you go ahead and. Like, is it so it only needs one tribute instead of two, so after I just, you know, do my Dante play? Because I, it's like, what, you cannot special summon monsters the rest of the turn except for wind monsters? But I can just go special summon, special summon, and tribute both of them for, you know, for Christia. And she's a wait, which means she wants to trade in this energy, because I'm not really trading in this deck. Yeah. So, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as strong. It really doesn't. Like, this, this is the only reason why I think that you would run Vanity Fiend over Christia, is because then you can go into Dante, which means that it doesn't take, you know, two tributes. Go ahead and mill three. Actually, those, those mills are actually pretty good. Like, good, good, good. <laughs> like, those, those, those are the mills. That's that shit I do like. I'll just tribute off for Vanity's Fane and lock you out of the duel because it's Vanity's Fane. That's the only play I can think of why you would rather do this Vanity's Fane over Christian. Because you could do that, go into Dante, do touch mill. And this, in the OCG, they only have one Dante. <laughs> like, with only one Dante, that's just like a rip. All right, here, skip it up. I don't blame you. All right, be right back. Um, just pumping out these duels real quick. Like we, we've gone through a handful of those. Let's try a second. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure out whether this deck has to go first or second. I think it could be either or. It really could. I can see first. I can see second. I'm running uh, three Terra Top, two Taka Tom Borg. That way, you know, I don't that draw. That's it. I really haven't been doing the Taka Tom Borg engine. Oh shit, we're going into Inferno. So this should be fun on the bone, I guess. <laughs> Oh, and of course, of course he got the fucking launcher. <laughs> of course he got the fucking launcher, because that's totally not fucking number generated. <laughs> I, uh, some people want to give Infernity shit. I, I say don't give Infernity fucking butt fuck nothing. I am not a big fan of giving Infernity shit. Yeah. Put your talking on board. We don't need to pop both your set cards. The launcher being gone is... Which one you had? Okay, so you're gonna banish that card in your hand, and it, does it come back? Let's turn. If you control a face up for much, you can banish all cards in your hand and face down until your next time face. But this card's not on the field. Is this just to say banish? Like that's what I'm confused about. Like that, 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 that's confusing. That's confusing. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and play you and draw a couple cards, and I can go the plus one with this because why not? Okay, potty cupidity. And I, I'm gonna see what did I banish. Though. My one warning, two revival cards, call the hunt. My three revival cards, so all of my fucking altars are gone. Or my terror paths, so I turn to a certain other pot. I guess. Besides this, like. <laughs> um, and you, you're the one that I can, like, pitch to. Special summon? Yeah, so Mastium, I, I, I guess I was mistaken about Mastium. Especially if you're gonna play it in, like, this, this version of the deck. Like, I guess he's not bad. Like, Mastium is not bad. If you're gonna play in this version, because I can pitch 
you know, pitch to Dark World and special summon him and then sometimes it's not much like that pitching, who cares? And you know, and this pitching, who cares? So I can go ahead and activate my effect, pay 1,000 to return you, and get a search. And that in itself is pretty powerful as well. So, mm, I'm thinking Tets. Tets, just in case he top decks like Rageki or something like that, I could just block from destruction. Just this card, this face up card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects while he has no cards in his hand. Alright, now that's kind of annoying. I mean, he still takes damage, but just period. I thought that was like once burn battle, like nope, burn the gunner. He just can't straight up be destroyed battle by Carfax. All right, and what do I do? Destroy the battle by Carfax. I, I guess I can go ahead and as soon as he draws it during his draw phase, just uh, activate my effect, return my trap card, and then because you have a card in your hand, I get to go ahead and pop you. <laughs> okay, so I still draw. I was, I was kind of, I was kind of wondering that kind of wondering that. I was like, does that still, you know, resolve, even if it's not on the field? Because it seems like one of those older trap cards that wouldn't work. Wow. All right. So, Infernity Exodia? Sure. Die. Sure. <laughs> Again, like, maybe if it was Exodia's left nipple, but nope, it's only his rack leg. <laughs> All right. Right back again. All right. So it just sucks that we wait, we wait until, so maybe September, since they said definitely not August, maybe September, October, but like Yu-Gi-Oh, seriously, it's like, it's like, it's like spoiled milk. And you're probably wondering, like, I don't get that expression. This whole, like, taking the fucking end of the list, like, we're sitting here waiting. Sometimes it's two week, two months, three months, four months, like, this is what, six months? Going on it? No, no, because we got in April, April, April to May, May to June, June to July, August to September. Oh, I don't know, it just feels long, especially, maybe because the last list was kind of shitty because you didn't, you only hit like one of the top decks, so it artificially feels like we're dealing with more than what we usually would be dealing with. Like, may maybe that's it, maybe that's it. Because it really does feel, it's like, oh, well, you hit, like, what, you hit PP, but you didn't hit Cosmos, you didn't hit Monarchs, you didn't hit, you know, PK Fire. So it just feels artificially long because those decks were here and then they continue to be here. Like, especially Burning Abyss. Like, Burning Abyss are just fucking, like, just ugh. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like this play that I'm, I'm doing. I'm going into Dante and doing this play just to mill more. I, 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 I personally, I don't know how I feel about it. Those mills didn't look good. Like, I'm going to call the content. I think I'm going to look Terra Top. Oh my god. It's like I'm a trap card. But I don't have any Dark Worlds right now, so not the best of plays. I guess I'll go ahead and should be something for you. Set well, set this so it's usable when it's time to use it, but it ain't usable right now. Like, oh, Ron, not the greatest of plays, not the greatest of openings. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it. Don't know how I feel about it. Never mind, never mind. Just throw their decky at my ass. Ugh. Regeki, one of the skillless cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. It takes no thought at all. No skill, no nothing. Like, Mega kept the DS audience video and he was like, oh, well, Regeki should be banned and Dark World should go through. I don't really care what they do. Like, I'm just surprised that Regeki got banned before Dark World, Dark World 1 to 3. But if they want to ban Regeki, sure. But will it get in? No, because it really has nothing to do with the meta. And really, that's what you look at. Is it a skillless fucking sacky piece of shit card? Oh, hell yeah. But... Well, can I do anything about it? No, I doubt it. Now I'm just opening it like shit. Like, I really feel like I could make the deck better on my own. It's like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this version. I don't like this version. I don't, I don't see the point of it. I'd rather just, you know, play trade in, draw more, and do like that. Infernities again? And then draw the Archfiend, so. <laughs> like, what, what is today? Infernity Day? And I didn't, I wasn't informed? Like, wow, Regeki and fucking Archfiend. Like, goddamn, number generator, you wanna. Calm the fuck down. <laughs> so, at least I can go ahead and I could go ahead and do this, like pop one of his cards and summon my uh, my tets. That would be terrible. Is this the same guy? I'm kind of wondering. Is this the same guy? Wow, judgment scales. All right. By the fucking judgment skills. Let's go. 
You have no cards in your hand, special summon. As soon as cards special summon, if you control no cards in your hand, you can add one turn. But he wasn't special summon, he was normal summon, so. I don't know. Like, is this the same guy? I don't remember his name. Sure seems like it. Sure seems like it. So go ahead and summon him back, which is fine. Uh, I wish I could use you to revive, but I I didn't mill any fucking shit. So I have two of them in there. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this pay a thousand return and pop this set card. Unless he unless he responds otherwise. Like grind up your back row, get stuck in front of these, yeah. You know, unless he gets like top decks launcher again. That was number generator. <laughs> Never been escaped. But yeah, it's like spoiling little. It's like there's no expiration date on the ban list, so you're just sitting here waiting. You don't know when to do anything or what. Like, think about all the things that have expiration dates. If they didn't have expiration dates, then it would just be shit, you know? It would just be straight up shit. A flash turn to shuffle off cards, bring him and go back into the deck. This card's fucking trash. And the last two you're playing that fucking Zushin deck. <laughs> like, Alright. Like, no, I'm pretty much done. Like, I could summon you, but you're fucking useless. Like, there's risk to reward with running this Terra Top engine with Taka Tomboard and shit. Like, it really is. It's similar to Brilliant Fusion. I mean, I guess uh, after Worlds, after Worlds, which is up this upcoming weekend, I, I'm gonna do another balance prediction. It's not gonna be as great as it is the last one. Like, I'll probably just hop on YGO Pro and just go over each card. Like, I'm too lazy to do all that editing. Editing took forever, so. Wow, really? Wow. Fucking top decks reason. Like, damn. Damn. Number generator, man. Number generator. How do you get fucking Rugaki, fucking Archfiend, and Reasoning in like your first like 10 cards? That's statistically improbable, but. Uh, I want to say four? No, three. Three, four? Hmm. He already has the Archfiend, so that's the. That's my concern. I'm going to say three, that way. Doesn't summon his fucking monster. Oh damn, I wasn't even close. I wasn't even fucking close. Fucking Archfiend Sniper. <laughs> okay. Right, Archfiend. Archer. <laughs> and Archfiend. Infernity. Archfiend. This rolls off the tongue. Archfiend Archer. It really does. Uh, oh, and he's playing fucking Cardinalize too. Cardinalize Infernity. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really don't care. Like, if you want to fucking banish to. Do that, I guess I don't care. Like, you can do that. I don't care about that. I think I want to pop you. Like, I think I'd pay a thousand to pop you. That way you don't attack him directly, because I can't lose so many records. I got, I, you know, I got bills to pay in this fucking deck. I don't know. I, and the sad thing is that this is probably the last time I said polls will be going up tomorrow. This deck doesn't get another month. Won't give me more time to practice with this deck and make it my own. Because so far, I mean, besides the card and version, but I think that was a little too cute. Like, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna do the card and version. I haven't really had a chance to make the deck my own. Like, there's cards I like, there's cards I don't. So I, I really need to, you know, really get down to nitty gritty and figure out what I like about the deck. So, I mean, if you guys vote for this deck to get another month, Dark Lord to get another month, then I'd be, I'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. If not, then I guess I'll try to make my definitive version. I won't get to play test it, and I'll just give you guys deck profile. Because we played many different versions, but so far none of them feel like what I want to play. Yeah, you know? like would I would I play this deck right now? Like, no, no, not the way that it is right now. I'm trying to pop you. I don't want to take that damage. My points are important for me. Wow, and I'm just redrawn to the same exact card. That it says Dark Lord Monster, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Dark Lord Monster. So I'll just go to attack and then. You know what? You're not really a threat, but you could be a threat. You could be a threat if he gets and drops into level four. But you could be um, the level three one that it's like if you have no cards in your hand, you get your monster reborn. So, you know what? I'm gonna attack the card because that's what I'm thinking. You, are. I'm thinking that you're oh, okay. You're something else. Okay. Whew, I was I was thinking that you were fucking Garna. He's gonna like flip you up. You know, have no cards in his hand. Get the cert. Like I was I was kind of I was actually kind of worried about that. Actually, kind of worried about that. Why can't he not turn his his arch into defense mode? Like I clearly have the stronger monster. He's leaving this monster in attack mode for like a cool minute now. A cool minute. All right. So that and then there it is, the necromancer. The one I was exactly what I was talking about. 
This card is normal summon exchange transition. If you have no cards in your hand, this card gives everyone effect once per turn. You can select one infernity monster in your graveyard, except for that, and special summon it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that fucking sucks. Wow, he, he ripped that good. God damn it. Ah, uh, god damn it. Uh, I'm gonna do falling. And I'll pop him. That way he doesn't resolve. God damn it. I guess I'll be taking 18 to the chin. Like. God damn it. Ah, uh, this duel. <laughs> this duel. Okay, now you go to defense mode? Now you don't want to poke my brave team? That's fine. Okay, call the hunted sign. Alright, so we'll go ahead and do our following one. Where are my Dark Lord monsters? Like, seriously. <laughs> I got fucking shit. I need Terror Top or something. Like, Taco Taco Tom is just kind of sitting here doing fucking fuck ton nothing. And you're special summon, period, right? It's got a special summon I can add. I might use the Call the Hunted on you. That might be a pretty good idea. It's not like he really has much anyway. For right now. Now, at least next time I do it, if he top decks another Necromancer, I could just spot pop him. So, we're good for right now. Alright, well, there's uh, this one where I can discard this card and one Dark Lord one card and then target one in my graveyard. So that's pretty good too. I'm starting, I'm starting to learn which Dark Lord, mod, which Dark Lord cards are like good and which ones are eh. I'm still debating on multiple Tets. You know, I think Tets is fine at one. I really do. So I'm just gonna have to activate Call of the Haunted. Let's go ahead and summon you. Never mind, there's no point in summoning you because uh, there's really nothing to do with you. Because I already got one Terra Top in the, I mean, Top of Tom Board, and I drew the other one, so. Like, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you don't do multiple Top of Tom Borgs. I mean, it's not like I'm really gonna do multiple Top of Tom Borgs when I play this deck in the future anyway. Well, the version I would play definitively. I wouldn't do the Dante Takatama play. It's cute, but I don't think it's necessary. So we'll just go into Dante. Mill more. Hopefully mill some monsters. Like, that's really what I want to see is some monsters. Alright, uh, I think I saw one. Yeah, so you striking this one twister. Nope. Still not a big fan of random <laughs> Uh But yeah, like, if there's no expiration date on milk, it's like, would you drink it? <laughs> you know, like, like the whole point of there uh, being an expiration on the date is to make sure to know that when the d the milk spoils, that's essentially what Konami's done by taking away the end date on the list. We don't know when the fucking game is gonna expire, and right now it's stinking up a storm. It is. It, it's disgusting right now. You kills. It smells so rotten. So, oh, on that door. All right. You know what? I'm gonna try to make my version of that. I'm gonna get one du one more duel. I'm gonna see if I like it and if it's cool and I like it after one fucking duel. And if it doesn't, and the deck doesn't get an additional month, then I will just go ahead and just do the deck profile of that deck. So they're right back. All right, this will be the last duel. So I tweaked it. There wasn't too much to change. It's still over. I think it's still 50 card, but I'm not running the speed road engine anymore. We're going full on. We're going fucking Christia. We're gonna fucking try to sack the shit out of my opponent. So that's pretty much the gist of the deck. It's kind of like a 50 card turbo deck. We got Modius. We actually got some uh, pretty. Sounds not terrible. Yeah, it's not that terrible. I guess I could go ahead and special summon him by pitching these two. But I think I'm going to go ahead for now and just take it slow. So, uh, so we're running Asmodeus again. We're running Trade Him. We're running Christia. We're running every random X Revival, which is probably with something that's doing different. The Call of Hunts and Oasis is an act. And I just pretty much squatted Christia on your ass and win. And the Trade Him with the level 8. So. Ah, drew my drop card. Cool. Cool. So, uh... I'll go ahead and just bash that. Just play you. You're a grab back, so you're actually pretty good, because I can discard this and another Dark Lord card and target one of my Dark Lord following the card in my graveyard. And it's cards, right? Yeah, cards, and add them back to my hand. So I'll pitch my steam right now. That's pretty good. And if you got some background, well, unless it's Solemn Strike. Let's see if you got some background. That's some Twister. It's Strike, it's Strike. Of course it is. Uh, why is Strike at fucking multiples? Like, Strike strike needs uh, strike needs to be limited, but it'll probably just get semi-limited, and then limited, like... 
fucking just cancer. <laughs> just cancer. I took a, I took a med hard. Like striking, striking X Ixta is, is smart. It, Ixta is like it's like a good strike. Cause I pitch too, I pay for costs, and I just get destroyed. I get destroyed. Uh I would love to freaking use you to grab back you. Like you and you grab back you. Possibly hold out. The sad thing is he's not really doing anything. But I also like to twin twister him too. Hopefully I don't get striked again. If I get striked again, then fucking then just ramp, you know? Okay, that, that at least resolved. Set this in my turn. To get real slow. Real slow for being like a turtle version. I'm just you know. I took the I took the neg on that. I didn't do my my trade ins, my cupidities, like there's there's a lot in here. There's a lot in here. And if he's just gonna take it slow, I'll take it slow too. I'll take it slow too. Yeah, you go. We'll just sit here and wait. All right, whether the format gets stale or not, we don't know. <laughs> so, put that expiration date back on this fucking carton of milk we call Yu-Gi-Oh! Before it gets spoiled and fucking stinks to god heaven, because right now it sure does. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's my Christia. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Just, there's really nothing to do with her right now. <laughs> Never mind, he's just gonna fucking quit. Like, wow. Alright. I said, I, I got fucked up, but I saw him strike, took a hella neg to the chin, and you're quitting? Like, I really didn't have any plays. I really didn't have any plays. We were kind of taking it real slow with it. Who's going first? Me or you? You're going first. All right. Throw in one Dark Lords Rattle because we have a lot of dark, so in, just in case I do the Dark Lords Rattle play, I mean, that could go for game. I really could. Uh, Instant Fusion and Rattle. All right. And Regeki and Swap Pro. Ugh. Oh, Ember Generator was strong in that play. That was, that was, that was the best, best of plays. Uh, I think I want to alert. I was thinking about maybe doing that, but there's, you know, and doing that alter with the pitch, but there's nothing I want to, you know, survive right now. So, pitch you, wow, and that's at flat one, that's at one, so. Alert is not once per turn, so go ahead and do another alert. Okay, okay, we're starting to get there. We're really starting to get there. And then I could tr draw with you, like, yeah, we trade in, drop that Christia, because we don't need her, draw more cards. And we got some revival. Cool. We got some revival, so I'll go ahead and play you. I'll go ahead and pitch my trap card and draw some more. Like what, what is this? Fucking pot? Sure. Sure, I'll pot. <laughs> sure. And then just draw some more. For a fifty card deck, I sure do draw. I already got my deck down to twenty six cards. Well, thanks to pot. No, I'm your sure pot. The pot. You're gonna throw one pot once per turn, so that's rip. Uh, I said I do have some Dark Lords in here, right? But I don't have fucking Superbia, that's who I need. I need fucking Superbia. So uh, I'll go ahead and play this. No. And you. And I'm thinking about just using your effect and returning my trap card, because I, I have strikes and shit, so I'm good. Like, this version of the deck's not running uh, card in my switch. It's debatable, but I think I'm okay with this. We're running way more than 50 cards. We're running 50 cards, therefore, if you're running 50 cards, throw in pots, guys. We have a lot of cards at three, so I think we'll be okay to banish some. Some! I lost my rival cards, my twin twitch, dirt warning, strike, Osmodius, blah blah blah, Christia. Huh? No? Overall, besides this, I kind of would keep that, but we have three copies of that, like, come on. Overall, not too terrible for Pot of Desires to go plus, you know, plus one on that shit. Uh, I wanted to pop him because I don't want to leave him on the field to, you know, do some more shenanigans, so. And we'll literally just set a shit ton of back row. So, even if he happens to snipe me out some way, shape, or form, I still have a shit ton of shit. And I got Call the Hunted and Oasis, so summon Christian, lock you out of the duel. <laughs> lock you out of the duel. That's, that's pretty much how it can go down in this deck, so. Yay, GG. Yeah. And I know I'm not no CG duel, right? Because if he fucking, if he fucking hits me with a Harpy's Feather Duster, I will literally fucking go hang myself right now. <laughs> it's like, Harpy's Feather Duster, like, I didn't know we were playing OCG. I, is there anything in my deck that's. Oh, he, never mind. He know we're decky, so we're definitely not playing OCG. Ah, oh, damn. Fucking BLS fucking jumped out the bushes and stabbed me. Like, god damn, with that number generator. Fucking Red Um, Regeki, BLS. Like, I'm not, I, I have to strike you. As an inherent summon, I have to strike you. I cannot allow BLS to fucking sit there and fuck my steeds. And, oh. And, of course, I, there's nothing to chain fucking Christia to, so. Rip on that. Nope, there's no reason to drop Christia now. 
Oh, well, we'll go ahead and pop desires one more time. Why not? Pop de drawing into a pop desires, pop desires. Definitely not the greatest of plays. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I could trade an Osmosius, Osmosius, I really don't need him. No, I don't need him. I mean, draw some more. Draw, draw. And there's Vanities, so. Strike, Vanities, Oasis, like. I think this might be it. Like, you go to attack and call Haunted Christia. Like, fucking rip. <laughs> I'm running two Osmosius, three Christia. Because I was running three Osmosius, but I'm like, he can't be special summoned, so. He's pretty much useless. Like once he sends Christia, he's done his job, and I don't think I'm gonna actually take the time to tribute summon for him. You know, makes sense. I think it makes sense. You know, and I, I it was literally like I could run three Osmosis, I could run two Osmosis and a Vanity's Emptiness, and it was like, look, if I'm gonna fucking hit you with the Christia, I might as well run Vanity's Emptiness. Like, and the thing is, I generally don't run Vanity's Emptiness in decks on daily duels because it's boring. But I'm already fucking hitting you with you can't special summon, so why the fuck not, right? I got 10 cards left in deck. Like, for starting off a 50 card deck, I kind of went through it fast. The trade ins and the draws and the alerts and the each does in the pot. Like, <laughs> so, I'm, uh, you already milled Regeki. Yeah. I was like, I was like you got Regeki to you know, blow me out of the water? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're done here. We're done here. So, overall, for a single duel, that wasn't too terrible. It, it was pretty decent. Pretty decent. So if it doesn't get if the deck doesn't get another month, I this will be a deck profile. This version right here, the fifty card deck version. Uh pot wasn't too terrible. You know, if you're an aggressive deck that has multiple copies of things, then sure you can go ahead and run it. But if not, and you know, you're relying on a key card or a key piece, I wouldn't run it. So but I, you'll never see me running that shit in U Bell I will pot and banish the U Bell and I'll be rep or bin shaman, so no. So we are done here with the so the daily duel, so like I said, I think my expression is fine. It's just fucking milk spoiled. It's just like, wow, like Yu Gi Oh! so fucking. It's not, it's not stale, it's spoiled. <laughs> I used to call Yu Gi Oh! stale, it is spoiled. And we, we're gonna wait for Worlds, see that? Like, I'm really just gonna watch Worlds, and like, as soon as Worlds is over and we got our winner, I'll probably go ahead and just, you know, work on the balance prediction, like, immediately. Like, oh, that's the winner of Worlds? Drop in the balance prediction and try to upload it, you know? And then, when I said, they said there's no, there's gonna be no ban list for. The YCS is on the, on the 27th to the 28th of August, so maybe September, maybe October, maybe November. But uh, yeah, I took my band left prediction from the last one. Uh, of course, I had to throw in some Cosmo cards because I thought they were going to do a list before Worlds, which was like, why would they hit shit for Cosmo at Worlds? So hey, at the fall list, but that would be the fall list. I think I think summer ends at the end of August, I believe. I want to say yeah, end of August or September. It's fall. I don't know. Anyway, after you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, of course, I will be back tomorrow. We're going to be tagging, playing Destiny Heroes. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh, yeah.